uh, your reaction to being taken 28th overall by the Bengals? Uh, honestly, just a blessing, man. Uh, I just want to play football, man. I, that's really, that's really my initial reaction, man. I just, I just want to play football. Blessed to be taken wherever, wherever, at whatever number, wherever I'm playing. I just want to play football, man. That's, that's all I want to do right now. You know, these visits kind of run all together, but when you left your visit with the Bengals, did you have a, a good feeling that you might be in play for them? Uh, I mean, I had a good feeling that they liked me. and I, When I was there, I really loved the city, loved the coaches. I, well, I already knew, I already knew the D-line coach there, so you know, I felt comfortable when I was there the whole time. What do you know about uh, the Bengals' edge rushers? Uh, they go and get after it. That's, the, that's what I love. Uh, having Hendricks in there, like really, really just watching him rush the edge, you know, just a minute from the edge, and just letting let the passes move. Just let them do what they want to do and just have that freedom to get to the quarterback. I love that about them. Miles, what do you do best and what do you need to work on, do you think? Uh, shoot, man. Just getting after the quarterback, playing with energy, making the plays, making the plays that. People don't think I'm gonna make. Uh, even when I'm like all, all the way off the screen, just making those, making those saves, running them down the field, sideline to sideline, side type player, gonna get to the quarterback, gonna stop the run. It's a complete all around dominant play. So, anybody in the league uh, that you watch on tape at all, or that you emulate? Oh yeah, Miles Good. Why, why is that? I always saw just having similar body body types, similar playing style, working style. And I just I just mimic all of my stuff after him. It's not because of his name. <laughs> <laughs> we saw the we saw the footage of you uh, after you got the news. Who was in the room and uh, kind of describe the re the reaction in the room. Well, I will say we did rent out an entire club, so we have about 175 to 180 people in here. So the reaction was very wild and loud. I'll say that for the most part. So that, it, was, it was a whole bunch of excitement in the room. With 170 people there getting late in the first round, were you getting concerned at all that you might not go tonight? Yeah, I'm about to say those, those, concerns, those concerns were coming up, but... I try to stay calm and, you know, I, I had the right people around me to calm me down and just keep the faith, really. Miles, what does it mean for you to join an organization like the Bengals, considering what they've been the last couple of years? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, but it's coming from a winning organization, joining a winning organization, an organization that knows how to win, the knows the mentality that it takes to win, that's important. Uh, I said it's important and it's great to be joining an organization like that. You know, kind of along those lines, what's it like joining a team that's been so close to winning a Super Bowl the last couple of years? And, and what are you hoping to kind of bring as they kind of get closer to that? Man, I, I hope you do. Really, after that, after that, after what they already have, and just be that finishing, that, be that finishing touch that makes them that consistent, that consistent Super Bowl winner, if anything. Appreciate it. Can, can you say that again? Can you say that one more time, Miles? We couldn't get you real clear on that. All right. I would say like they, you know, they have they have all the pieces to be a consistent Super Bowl contender, AFC Championship contender. But I just want to be that. I just want to be that finishing piece, that piece that you know, just you know, pushes pushes them over, pushes them over, over and past that ledge of being a consistent Super Bowl contender and a consistent Super Bowl winner every year. What do you think about coming to Miles Garrett's division? Hey, might have said regardless what division I got to go in, I, you know, I got to get off the quarterback in and out. Miles, how well, like, do you stay close with T. Higgins and Jackson Corbin at all? Uh, I wasn't able to play with T. Higgins. I played my freshman year with Jackson Corbin. We'll text every once in a while, but... You know, it's great. It's great news going. I'm going to re reunite with reunite, reunite with Jackson, create a relationship with uh, T. Higgins. Just have that clinical connection going. So yeah, it'll be it'll be good. Have you talked to them about like what it's like being on the Bengals? Like, have they told you what it's like playing in Cincinnati? And what impressions did you kind of get from that? If they did, 
really talked with Jackson when he when he first got drafted, what it was like. Just that I'm about to say freshman transition, that rookie that rookie transition of you know, what he did to make that transition easier, make it a little bit more smoother. Things along that line, really. One thing that defensive coordinator Lou Anarumo said in his press conference a couple minutes ago, Miles, was that he expects you to come in and contribute right away. Uh, What gives you the confidence and and what in your career at Clemson um, leads you to believe you'll be able to contribute right away in your rookie year? Well, that's that's been my expectation for the longest. Uh, I'm about to say, ever since high school, I had a mission to come in and start, dominate every year that I was in college, and I still have a mission to come in and do what I need to do to dominate every down. That's that's my that's always been my mission. That's gonna be my mission moving forward. I imagine you've dreamed of this moment for a long time. Can you describe the phone call? It was I I can't I can't even explain it to you. It was, it was a whole bunch of just emotions going through my body. I was I was literally shaking on the phone call. I couldn't even get too many words out but really just exciting really. I'm just I'm just ready to play football. All right. I'm ready, yeah, I'm just ready to play. I'm curious, has Nick Eason, you know, former coach of the Bengals, has he mentioned the Bengals or shown you anything from the Bengals during his experience coaching you? Uh, we would always watch uh, tape from the Bengals when he was coaching there. But uh, as far as his experience, at the Bengals, we wouldn't really talk too much about it, but he said he enjoyed it. That, uh, Who was the best tackle you played against in your collegiate career? Uh, probably Joe. I mean, Joe. Joe All was a pretty good, pretty good uh, tackle winning against last season against for uh, Notre Dame.